Welcome, everybody, to the Sacred Heart Baseball Weekly Coaches Show, not with the head coach, but with the assistant coach, Alex Trezza, making his debut here on one of these weekly interviews on Sacred Heart Baseball. And, uh, well, you get a nice week to come on after a four-game sweep of uh, Cornell. It really was shoe ball all the way around with the dominant pitching, both the starters and when need be, the bullpen, and some timely hits from some young players. Yeah, we played well. It was uh, it was the first weekend we kind of put it all together. Uh, there was a little bit of a lull there when we got back from the southern trip. Uh, I think guys were just kind of getting used to the weather and um, kind of regrouping, getting back into class and stuff. So uh, we worked on some things, kind of went back to basics, and uh, we went up, up against a good team last weekend with Cornell. And it was a good challenge for us, good test, and uh, our guys showed up and we played really good baseball. All right, let's start with the pitching because it always starts with that. And Cody Kersky has been unreal, I mean, untouchable. 27 and a third innings and just one earned run. How fun has he been to watch in all his starts, especially this weekend's complete game shutout? Uh, it makes it easy for us as a coaching staff. We kind of write the lineup and then we just sit on our hands for the rest of the night. But. Uh, uh, just kidding, but he, he's been he's been unbelievable. Um, he goes out there and gives us a chance to win every time he's got the ball, and I think the guys feed off that. Um, and the great part is the other starters we have at start uh, Stoddard, Lanigan, and now Foley as a freshman. They kind of it's like this rivalry they have, and they want to kind of one up the the next guy. So um, there's a there's a good um, challenge there with Kersey going out the first night and, and doing really well. So the other guys want to kind of live up to that and, and give us a chance to win like he does. So um, it's been nice. There's a lot of competition going on, and, and it all starts with him. And not only in the rotation, but also in the lineup. And Keith Glebart jumped in there this week and really made a case for himself winning the NEC Rookie of the Week. Some big hits and some big moments, yeah. and uh, it, it's got to be rewarding to see these guys that you work so hard with when they get their number call, get in there and produce. Yeah, it's always good to see you know freshmen stepping up, and uh, we knew he was going to get a lot of time. Uh, it's just a matter of where. He plays a couple different positions, first, third. Um, he plays a little bit of outfield and uh, also DH. So um, it's a challenge to a good challenge to try to find some time for him. We have some upperclassmen too, but um, you know we called his number. Uh, he's been getting some at bats here and there, but uh, he had a bunch of games in a row over the course of the weekend. And I think that definitely helped. And, you know, he was a major part of our success over the weekend. Well, you have, and that's a nice problem to have when you have more than nine guys that you know could step up and get a big hit in a big moment. Yeah. Connor McAvoy is another one. He had a big weekend. Yeah, Connor, uh, you know, he's been great for us, and uh, he's in the middle of the lineup, and he's an older guy. I think he has, you know, a lot of experience, which helps, and uh, he's a guy who's going to drive in runs and uh, kind of set the tone in the middle of the lineup. So he's been outstanding. Uh, he's playing a good outfield right now for us. And that leadership from an older guy I think is really important with the amount of young guys that we have actually in the starting lineup every day. Some back and forth games. How nice was it to uh, win games in kind of a, a, a different kind of fashion? You know, a couple of, you know, no doubt about it, wins, but also yeah. some, some, some tight ball games. Yeah, you know, a uh, couple of the scores, you know, we scored a lot of runs. It looked like it was an easy game, but... Uh, as coach will tell you and our guys will tell you, you know, there's no easy games that we play. So um, we tacked a couple on in some, you know, key spots to make it look like it's, you know, a, a blowout or what, what have you. But um, they were a good team and, and we just kind of kept our foot on the gas. And, and that's one thing we've been talking about. Um, if they score, come, ra come right back the next inning and, and put some pressure on. If we score a couple, same thing, keep, keep going every inning. So we did that this weekend. Um, and then in the final game, you know, it was a it was a it was a closer game. It was it was two nothing into the last inning, and they made it two one. We kind of held on for the win, uh, which you know we were kind of teetering with uh, when we got back from uh, our southern trip. Uh, a couple one run losses there that we, we wish went the other way. So it was nice to see us play well, like you you mentioned in the first couple games, and in the last game also play well, but in a closer game and, and pull it out at the end. Now beyond the box score, you had a freshman catcher Jake Fryer step in there and uh, talk about producing when you get your number called. You might not notice in the box score, but a freshman handling a veteran pitching staff, getting to know guys early in the season. Uh, obviously, you've had the whole off season, but still there's nothing like getting in there. Yep. Game time, you know, you were a catcher. Just yep. talk about the job that he did mm -hmm. uh, handling the pitching staff this weekend. Yeah, he, he did a great job. You know, uh, like Klebart, you know, he's a freshman. He gets thrown in there. Um, and we we were going to get him time too, uh, and I think you know we just threw 
put on this weekend and say, go ahead. And, and he's more than capable of doing it. And um, he's been preparing like he's the starter, and that's kind of what we kind of been molding him to do so that when, when he did get an opportunity, he got right in there and, and he can do what he, he needs to. And the guys are confident throwing him, you know, Cody and Lanigan and Stoddy and all those guys. So um, he's done a great job. He's kind of picking Horn's brain to kind of see what those guys like to throw and uh, their personality and stuff. So. He, he did a great job, and like you said, it's, it may not show up in the box score, but it, it, uh, it, it's a huge part of our team, and um, it's great to have a guy who's a freshman kind of lead from behind the plate right away. Uh, you, Coach G is always fond of using the uh, the term curveball as being thrown away, <laughs> and I think in the month of March, the Northeast is a college baseball team. You don't see any fastballs. It's all curveballs. It's all breaking balls. <laughs> right. More curveballs this week. You didn't get to play uh, Stony Brook as you had hoped, as was on the schedule, but you still found a way to get some work in against uh, University of Bridgeport. Yeah, there, there's been a lot of curveballs. You know, uh, we're on the turf. Uh, we're in the gym. We're at the cages. Uh, the weather's been, you know, I guess the biggest curveball. Um, and uh, we've done a nice job kind of uh, competing and kind of using the adversity to our advantage. That's kind of what we preach. And um, as a coaching staff, we, we make sure that it's not a crutch, you know. And uh, when we're in the game, we know that we can deal with adversity. So I think that's why, um, you know, we, we've been playing well and uh, we're going to continue to play well. Um, and yesterday we went out and played University of Bridgeport in a little scrimmage uh, over down there at their school. So it was nice to get some guys work, which was good. Um, some of our guys in the, in the back of the bullpen got some work that was much needed. So it's nice to get out and compete against somebody else instead of just practice sometimes. So um, it was nice. It was cold, but we got our work in, and, and that's all that matters at this time of year. Okay, so coming up this weekend, turning our attention to St. John's, another out-of-conference good baseball program in New York City not unlike Fordham a couple of weeks ago. Um, you guys are getting to know that I-95 uh, right. corridor pretty well <laughs> down into New York. But three good games uh, coming up against uh, you know a good team out of the Big East and also your final weekend before conference play starts. So talk about this weekend and uh, obviously the goals are to win ball games. But beyond that, what are you looking for as a coaching staff? Yeah, time? we're looking to continue what we did last week. Um, again, they were, they were a good team last week, and we're going to face another good team this week in St. John's. So um, good to get our starters one more start before the, the, the uh, conference schedule starts. Uh, keep rotating those guys in, the young guys, the old guys, um, kind of finalize and solidify our lineup. Um, with that being said, uh, we're going to have a lot of moves throughout the season. Um, but I think you know, we played, I think, 17 games to this point. So um, through this weekend, we'll be right around 20 games before conference starts. Uh, I think we'll have a good idea of our team and the kind of style we want to play. And, um, you know, moving forward, again, it's just it, it's it's continue to get better every single weekend right into conference and then throughout. So uh, I think we're in a good spot right now. Hopefully the weather holds out, yeah. which we might get another curveball. But we'll adjust and, uh, you know, we'll get it done because it's a strong group. And, uh, you know, we're happy with where we are right now. Thank you for the time and uh, hoping for a, a fastball with the weather this week. Thank weekend. you. Appreciate it. Alex Trezza joining us here on the weekly Sacred Heart Baseball Coaches Show. So, again, this weekend, New York City, we do have the call for you this weekend. Jim Sheehan, Sacred Heart Sports Information Director for Baseball, and I on the call. We hope you'll join us as the Pioneers take on the St. John's Red Storm.